For if 1 of the root of the equation is negative 7, find the value of the constant k. So we know that for the root, we have x squared minus sum of root x plus product of root is equal to 0. So we have to make sure here in front of x squared is 1. We have 3x squared plus 19x plus k is equal to 0. So to make this one 1, we have to divide everything with 3. So 3x squared divided by 3 plus 19x divided by 3 plus k divided by 3 is equal to 0. So here we have x squared plus 19 over 3x plus k over 3 is equal to 0. So from here we can see that negative sum of root. So this one is positive 19 over 3. So sum of root is equal to negative 19 over 3. And product of root is the one at the back here which is k over 3. Product of root is equal to k over 3. So we see here 1 of the root is negative 7. So we know 1 of the root. Okay, sum of root is, for example, if the root is alpha and beta. So for example, if the root is alpha and beta, where we get one of the value which is negative 7. So we make it negative 7 and beta. So here, this one is negative 7 plus beta. Right? So here, negative 7 plus beta is equal to negative 19 divided by 3. Multiply everything with 3. So this one times 3 times 3 times 3. Get negative 21 plus 3 beta. This one can be cut off which is equal to negative 19. So 3 beta is equal to here negative 21. We bring it to the other side. So negative 19. So negative will become positive 21. So 3 beta is equal to Negative 19 plus 21, we get 2. This one is larger than this one, right? So, beta is equal to 2 over 3. So, you see here we have two roots. The first root is negative 7 and the other root is 2 over 3. Product is product. Uh, product of root is actually the multiplication of the root. So, product of root, P-O-R, is equal to negative 7 times 2 over 3, which is equal to K over 3. Negative 7 times 2, we get negative 14 over 3 is equal to k over 3. So, here k is equal to negative 14.